Hey guys! So I'll have to admit, um, I may or may not kind of have um, forgotten about you. So it's 10.18pm, so technically I'm still on time, and you cannot say otherwise. Anyway, um, to make up for it, I'm actually um, going to do two poems for you today. Um, so, uh, as many of you know, I posted a status on Facebook um, yesterday. Uh, asking for subjects for poems and I'm going to read the list of the subjects that I got. So I got Begin strips, robots, the sentence this salsa is not hot enough, dreams, statistics, love, writing, women, testicles, gratitude, and hope. Um, so I said I would write poems on all of them I'm going to write poems on all of them. Some of them are going to be weirder than others. Um, for instance, my first poem today, I'm doing them in order. Um, so I did Beg and Strips and Robots today. Beg and Strips is a haiku, which is a Japanese poem that has uh, five syllables, then seven syllables, then five syllables, syllables again. So it's really short. Um, and then Robot is kind of a free verse, science fiction kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm doing my best here, people. All right, so I'll read them both right one after another. So this is Begging Strips, a haiku. I never believed, not for one minute second, that you were bacon. Never. Okay, I'm just going to interject that that is not completely true because I did try one of them, and as much as they smell delicious, leave it to the dogs. They're really, really gross. Anyway, second poem, this is Robots. I've seen you with your one-way joints. I've seen your motorized eye sockets, your metal organs, your hinged jaw. You drum your fingers, and your pre-programmed nervous habit sounds like gunfire. You cannot write a poem without a tongue, without a heart, because you cannot feel the way a perfect word feels in your mouth, and you have nothing to write for. And I am sorry that you can't feel your toes and your breath will never fog up windows, and I'm sorry for your lack of fingernails and vertebrae, but mostly, I'm sorry that you haven't ever slept, because you have never, not for one second, dreamt something you didn't even know you wanted. So, those are my poems for today. Um, tomorrow will be, let me double check. Tomorrow will be the sentence, this salsa is not hot enough, um, Angie Chen suggested that, and then Laura Diltz, my Aunt Laura, suggested dreams, so that'll be tomorrow. And today, um, I forget who suggested the first one. Second one is Austin Klinger, my good friend from back in the Dizay. I just said Dizay, I'm really sorry guys. Um, and the first person was Karen Kepner. So thanks Karen, thanks Austin. Um, enjoy your poems even though they are incredibly strange because that's kind of how I roll. Okay, bye.